good evening, traders from across the globe, and welcome to the 1,223rd edition of Short Term Trading Live with Oscar Carboni, and of course, that would be me. Good evening, traders. Oscar Carboni here. I have been in this business, started down on the trading floors when I was 18 years old. I have been involved in the business for over 32 years now, and I am here to teach you all the tips, tricks, and techniques I've ever learned down on the trading floor on Wall Street, and it's about technical analysis, so pay attention to these videos. Traders, we know that futures trading can be extremely risky and is certainly not meant for all traders out there. Know the risks behind this game. Make sure you always use stops. A stop might not always protect you, but it's the best thing you can do besides not protecting yourself. If a trade route stops, a stop can absolutely be your best friend. So, traders on the board, I've got a lot of topics tonight and a bunch of charts, so pay attention. Interesting video. First thing is first. A great reinforcement of a time-tested rule happened today to me and my Omniacs. That rule is bulls and bears make money, pigs get slaughtered. That is an old adage. It's been in this business forever and ever. I've learned it since I'm a little boy in the business, and I'll tell you what, I let that get me today. We were short NASDAQ like we said we were going to do in last night's video, expecting a drop down to 39.85. We sold it at about 40.28, 40.30. It broke down to 40.14, 40.12. Looking for more, I did nothing, and eventually we got stopped out of the trade. Bulls and bears make money, pigs get slaughtered. I'll show you the trade. My bad, Omniacs. I should have taken those points when they were on the table. I thought we were going to get the big dip. The Omniacs in my chat room knew that today I was expecting to buy S&P and buy NASDAQ on a big dip, but I was off by a half a session because it just took off without us. In fact, we were short when it went up because we were still waiting to take profits on our shorts. They were profitable. We didn't take it. Bulls and bears make money. Ah, ah, pigs get slaughtered. All right, so that is topic number one. I'll show you the chart in NASDAQ. Buy bad on that one. Two. The bull is back, the bull flag wins the gunfight. We had that fake double top in the Dow. We had the bull flag. I showed you a chart in last night's video and many other videos and said, this is going to break out to the upside. The bull flag is what's going to happen. Remember this chart in the next few days. I showed you that chart last night. I will bring that chart back now to show you why we should go higher. But the bull is back. The bull flag has won the gunfight and we will go higher. Anybody see T-Bonds lately? Woohoo! We'll look at that in the chart segment. And number four, Omni Stocks comes out of nowhere. Belts out a stock wreck for me tonight to give to you traders. The stock is ACT Activist. We'll look at a chart on that. Traders, I've got a live chat room. It's at livewithoscar.com. It's my website. It's free. It's there to help you. It's there to help educate you. Come on down to livewithoscar.com. Join my ever-growing army of Omniacs who huddle in that room every day. I'm at the helm. We help each other, and I help you get through these rough and tumble markets. Livewithoscar.com. Come on down. All right, so four things on the board. Charts are going to look great. I'll show you the reinforcement of the rule. Take your damn profits when they're on the table. I'll show you that pigs get slaughtered when they don't. The bull is back. I'll show you why. And let's go look at those bonds. Of course, ACT will come out too. Traders, with no further ado, let's go look at some charts. Okay, traders, the first chart before your eyes is the NASDAQ chart I put in last night's video. Gave you a target of 39.75 to 39.50. The NASDAQ opened. We got short at around 40.28, 40.28, 40, 40.30. We shorted it right about there. The market plummets. What do we do? We look for the 37 to 39.75 target. We do not take our profit. The market turns around, goes up, stops us out, makes a new high for the day, and we end up losing instead of winning. Why? Because we did not take our profits. Bulls and bears make money. You know what happens to pigs, right? 
You just seen what happened to us? We got slaughtered. Don't be a pig. Don't get slaughtered. Take your profits. My bad, I'm the axe. I won't do that again. All right. You know, really, though, there wasn't a great deal of points on that. There was somewhere between 15 and 20 points, depending upon the movement. But we were looking for more. My bad. The Dow Jones Industrial Average Daily Bar Chart. This was in last night's video. It was in every video for the last 10 days. Is a double top coming? We must respect it until it proves to not be. I told you this would turn out to be a bull flag. Look what happened. This is the Daily Bar for Wednesday. The Daily Bar for Tuesday, excuse me. This is the Daily Bar for Tuesday. What a big monster run-up day, right? It closed all the way up there. And this is what we expect now. Back to that chart. I love this chart. Now listen. I had the guts to show this to you for the last few videos, and I told you last night, remember this chart in the next few days, because that's a bull flag. That is where we're going to go. Why? Because these double tops will not work out. They don't work out. We always go higher because we're in a big bull market. You know what happened? Right here is the daily bar. Boom! Right there, we broke out of the flag. Another round of applause. Yes, we got the bull back. I love it. The market is back in the saddle. Traders, Dow Jones Industrial Average on the weekly now. Same chart you've been seeing for how long? Remember I showed this to you. Top one, top two, it goes up, not down. Top one, top two, it goes up, not down. Top one, top two, it spent a week going down and then took off, but we call that a no win. Top one, top two, it went up, not down. Top one, top two, we expect up, not down. Back in the saddle. Gotta love these charts. I'm so glad to be out of that bearishness. Then there's the E-mini S&P for trading on Wednesday. Look at that, traders. We are above this. Is it a flag? Well, here's the whole daily bar. Is this a flag? Well, you know, let's look at that. Is this a flag? Is this a weird flagpole? Why not? That's the way the market works. It didn't go straight up like flagpoles sometimes do. It went a little sideways. That's a flag. This is a breakout of that flag. Tomorrow is a Fed day. Great setup. The market should absolutely take off at some point. Then we've got the DAX traders. Take a look at this chart. The DAX daily bar. I have a question for you. The question is quite simple. You see this? What letter does this chart remind you of? I'm going to give you a few moments on this. You think about this for a few moments. A, B, C. Is it G? I'm not sure it's not a G. Is it R? Ah, I can't tell. Whatever letter this reminds you of, it reminds me of a V bottom. Now we've got a bull flag. The DAX should break out. Away we should go. Europe should follow. The ES should go first. The market looks fantastic. Then we've got the gold traders. I told you a lot of charts in this video. This gold chart I've been showing you for weeks and weeks on end. When I started showing it to you, we were all the way up here. It's worked its way down to here. I say not much of a rally will come. We're going to sell the next rally in gold and look for it to finish its move underneath this pennant, if you will. Flag, pennant, apex, call it anything you want. I call it a repetitive pattern just like this one is that one. Down should be the end result. Down should be the end result. We had a couple of up days in gold. I told you yesterday for Tuesday, don't buy, don't sell gold. It'll go up. It went up a little. Let it go up a little more. We will sell it again. Stay tuned at livewithoscar.com at my site. See what we're going to do in gold. Has anybody looked at the bonds lately? That's the question. Now, traders, you know I was a bond maven from when I started in this business all the way to 2009. After 2009, I thought it was a good idea for us Omniacs to no longer trade bonds. The bonds are starting to be, I'm starting to get a calling again by Omni for the bonds. In fact, I actually have a trade set up for tomorrow. I'll observe. I won't give it out. But the T-bonds, have you seen it lately? It's about to test the 200 bar moving average. The test should likely go through. You've got a Fed meeting tomorrow bringing us closer to higher interest rates. Usually, in a normal world, a higher interest rate means a lower T-bond rate. So if this is T-bonds and this is interest, if interest goes up, T-bonds go down. That's the way this works. They should go down if interest is going up. This is a perfect spot for that to begin. And look at this chart. I showed you this in the last two videos, or at least the last one. I showed you that there was a T-bond formation forming on the weekly bar. And I said, I know this market. I've traded it most of my life. Once you get two weekly bars in a row like that, it starts to rock and roll. Two weekly bars in a row, it rock and roll. We've got two weekly bars in a row. 
I expect some rock and roll on the downside, penetrate the 200 ball moving average, and continue on down. Traders, pull your own charts, do your own homework before you consider doing your own analysis or even listening to mine. That takes care of the commodities. Now, for a stock out of nowhere, Omni calls me and says, Oscar, you better look at ACT. Activist Daily Bar, this is your stock. Nice, strong signal on this one, traders. Come to livewithoscar.com. Go to the stock site. The difference in color is brown versus blue and green. Go to the brown stock site. Take a look at my Omni Rec. It'll be sitting there waiting for you for tomorrow morning. Traders, pull your own charts, do your own homework on stocks, on commodities. Never listen to anyone's technical opinion without doing your own analysis first. So, traders, you've seen the charts. There's my technical argument for why we've got the Green Army. I love to applaud the Green Armies. All right, so we look like we're going higher. I know it's a Fed day. I know generally we don't trade on Fed days, but... What exactly can the Fed do tomorrow? That's not telegraphed. Nothing. They're not raising rates. They can't lower rates. They're not going to surprise us. The Fed has changed. They're a more kindly, gentler Fed now. We get telegraphed almost anything they're going to do. There is no way to doing anything on a surprise tomorrow. The market should take off. It had its dip right before Fed Day. Away we should go. Traders, if you like the analysis in this video, if you like the analysis in the other 1,222 videos before this one, I am holding and accepting applications for a live showing. I will be doing a four-day Omnicamp held here live in Las Vegas. It is November 7th through the 10th, the 7th, 8th, 9th, and 10th. It is a Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. I will be hosting it. I will be teaching, and only a handful of you will be invited out. We're accepting applications at livewithoscar.com for Omnicamp. Fill out your Omnicamp applications for November 7th through 10th, and I will call you personally and qualify you for a seat at my camp. Traders, I will see you at the site. Remember, I am live in a chat room, so come join me, and it's free at livealaska.com. Always remember, keep your emotions out of trading if you can. Very volatile lately. Volatility, volatility is expected more and more tomorrow. But remember... Keep your emotions at bay. Put your stops in. Sit back, relax, get up, walk away from the screen. Go kick the dog if you have to, whatever it takes. I'm not telling you to kick dogs. I'm not telling you to kick dogs, but if you've got to go out and kick something, go kick something, but don't trade. Don't change your prices. Don't change your stops. Don't get nervous. Put your stops in. Let the markets do their job. Always remember, stops are Futures trading is risky and can cause substantial financial loss. We do not claim or guarantee that you will profit from the information provided. 